Okay. So when it comes to an oral presentation, definitely you uh, you have to uh, do a preparation. You have to plan before. So once you have uh, collected all the information, the sources on the information that you want to present, now it's time to organize, to structure the content. writing and reading so um, speaking or oral presentation also need to uh, consider three things one definitely the introduction and then we're going to look into um, uh, the body the content and lastly of course we need to pr provide the uh, conclusion so let's take a look at what you need to do so in, the in an introduction, what we need to do is we have to greet the audience, definitely. Okay, and introduce yourself. If it's a group presentation, so you need to introduce the other members. Okay, and make sure that you um, introduce the topic, the title that you would like or the content. Give a step snapshot of what you're going to present. Okay. Uh, purpose. So now, uh, after you have have greeted all of the audience, so what you need to do is go straight to the purpose. Why actually you stand in front of them? Why why you you are there? And um, lastly, you need to give an, an an attention grabber. So what is an attention grabber? So this is the time where when you need to provide the information uh, a general information or a situation that will lead the audience to think of the content that you would like to share so this is a, a very important part uh, whereby it will somehow contribute to the audience interest to remain until the end of the presentation Alright, so next it's going to be the body or the content. So, of course, when it comes to delivering information, you want to consider of having main ideas. Okay, um, if it's going to be you, you alone presenting the content, so it's not going to be a problem. But the issue usually comes when you have several group members. So what you need to do, you need to divide the content among yourselves. So make sure that the main ideas are not repeated or else the audience are going to notice it, definitely they're going to notice it and it's just a matter of redundancy. Okay, and make sure that um, use keywords or symbols do not use the full text when you are having uh, the presentation the points on the slide or on the margin paper for example so you just use the symbol or the keywords so that it won't distract your audience and make sure that for every point or main ideas that you deliver you consider of providing your audience with complete details so here elaboration is very important all right so the last part of your presentation should be on uh, a conclusion okay so co a conclusion is actually a part uh, where you just restate the main ideas the points that you have mentioned or you have explained previously so please make sure that you mention the main ideas only so you don't have to restate the examples the el elaborations too much on elaborations and lastly it's about providing a statement that can summarize lastly provide a statement to summarize everything that you have presented and do not forget that uh, you are not supposed to provide new information or new ideas when it comes to a conclusion so I hope that um, the discussion this presentation this lecture is enough for you to understand uh, on the topic and I wish you well and I wish you good luck for your other presentation soon bye